God at ang lahat po ay naniyahan na na, na makinig at tayo po ay mag-uumpisan sa ating service. At ang lahat po ay naniyahan ko na manalangin sa oras na to. Tayo pong lahat ay pumili. Yes, Lord, maraming salamat po muli sa oras at pagkakataon mo ito, Lord, na na masamba, mapuli, at madakila ka, Panginoon, at mapagbulay-bulayan ang mga salita. Salamat, Panginoon, dahil sa sa gitna ng ng pandemya, Panginoon, ay, ay patuloy kami nakakapagpuri, nakakapagsamba, at nakakakayo ng salita ng Panginoon, ng salita na nagbubula sa puso mo, Panginoon. Lord, alamin namin, Lord, na patuloy niyo yung palakasin, Panginoon, sa araw na ito, Panginoon. At at, at hindi namin maramdaman, Panginoon, ang pandemya marara, ang nararanasan ng buong mundo, Panginoon. Kaya naman, Lord, uh, pinapanalangin po namin at naniniwala kami, Panginoon, na hindi man, hindi man kami nakakapag-service ng physical, Lord, na magkakasama, Lord. Naniniwala kami, Panginoon, in spirit, Lord, we are one, Panginoon. At uh, uh, ang salita mong Panginoon ay tatagos, Panginoon, sa mga salita na yun, Lord, na namin, Panginoon. At Lord, patuloy na madadakila, mapupuri ka, Panginoon, at uh, masasamba, Panginoon. Kaya naman, Lord, Ikaw pong bahala sa abo, maghapon na ito, Panginoon, sa mga, sa aming mga tutog ko, Panginoon, at sa, sa lingkod mo na tatayo, Panginoon, na why, Panginoon, ay ma-deliver niya, Panginoon, ng, ng, ng maayos, Panginoon, ang sasabihin mo, Panginoon. Ikaw po ang makita sa bawat tatayo sa lingkod ng kulit ng ito, Panginoon, at Ikaw ang madakila sa araw at oras na ito, Panginoon. Salamat po, Panginoon. Sa ilangan po namin, binabalik lahat ng papuri po sa salamat, Panginoon. At ang lahat po namin ito ay para sa iyo, Panginoon, sa pangalan ng Yesus. Amen. Ay magsabing ko sa'yo Halina sama-sama 
mabuhay sa ating Panginoon. Uh, patuloy na na dakilain natin siya sa pamamagitan ng pag-aamit.
Pagpapatuloyin na ating Panginoong Diyos na buhay at takitahan siya.
Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Come on, church. Give reverence to our holy God. Release our soul, our spirit. Express our love for Jesus. Hallelujah. It is your presence in my life. That satisfies. It is your presence in my life that satisfies. For the very last time. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Shall we give the Lord the best clap of praise? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Sige nga po, yung pong pinakamalakas na palakpak para sa Panginoon. <laughs> Hallelujah. At pinakadabes ngang talon para sa Diyos. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, welcome once again to Does Say the Lord program. So, watch and listen. Does Say the Lord. Ito ang sabi ng Panginoon. Watch and listen. And like, share, and uh, subscribe. KOJF Church YouTube channel. Wag lang, wag lang natin itong pinakikinggan, ha? Don't just listen. Do it, ha? Like, share, and subscribe. KOJF Church YouTube channel. And the Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International Facebook fan page. Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International Facebook fan page. Glory to God. Hindi naman naririnig yung ingay nito nung uh, ating ano. Okay lang. Hindi naman, hindi naman ito naririnig. Okay, sige. Yan. So, buksan natin mga minamahal in the book of uh, Jeremiah 9.23 and 24. This is just a short message. No need to prolong this message. no. So, listen attentively. Hindi na natin ito kailangang pahabain pa. Patagalin pa. Kaya ang magagawa natin, pakinggan natin to ng maigi, ng lubos at ganap. Glory to God. So, Jeremiah 9, 23 and 24. So, get your Bible and get your notebook and pen and, and jot down the wonderful revelations of God. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23 and 24. So welcome sa lahat ng mga nakikinig at nanonood no sa mga kapatirang nandito at sa mga kapatirang uh, nandiyan no wherever you are in right now so welcome to Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International Miracle Healing Victorious Worship Service yan Miracle Healing Victorious Worship Service ano pong sabi rito Jeremiah 9:23 and 24 This is what the Lord says, Let not the wise man boast of his wisdom, or the strong man boast of his strength, or the rich man boast of his riches. Let him who boasts boast about this, that he understand and knows me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth, for in this I delight, declares the Lord." Put our full trust and security to Jesus alone. Put our full trust and security to Jesus alone. This is what the Lord says, Jeremiah 9.23 and 24. Let not the wise man boast of his wisdom, or the strong man boast of his strength, or the rich man boast of his riches. But let him who boasts, boasts about this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in this I delight, declares the Lord. 
Ang sabing ganoon, huwag ipagmalaki ng matalino ang kanyang karunungan. Huwag ipagmalaki ng malakas ang kanyang kalakasan. Huwag ipagmalaki ng mayaman ang kanyang kayamanan. Kung merong dapat magmalaki ay ipagmalaki na nauunawaan at nakikilala nila ang Diyos. Ang Diyos na nagpapatupad ng kabaitan, kustisya o paghuhukom at uh, katuwiran o kabanalan sa mundong ibabaw na ito dahil ito ang kinalulugdan ng ating Panginoon. Mga kapatid, sabi ko nga po, hindi, hindi ko na ito papakahabahabain pa o papakatagal-tagalin pa. At pagkatapos ng maikling mensaheng ito, ay hindi, ihanda na natin yung ating mga bread at ang ating mga uh, grape juice that represents and symbolizes uh, the blood and the uh, the body of, of Jesus that was marred uh, on the cross of the Calvary. So get ready with our grape juice and the uh, bread. So we will have uh, the, the Last Supper, the Lord's Supper, the, the Holy Communion after this uh, short uh, message. So glory to God. So ang sabi po rito ay huwag daw ipagmalaki, no? ulitin ko lang uli. Yung uh, karunungan ng isang matalino, huwag niyang ipagmalaki yun. Huwag ipagmalaki ng isang uh, malakas ang kanyang uh, kalakasan. No? At huwag ipagmalaki ng isang mayaman ang kanyang kayamanan na ang dapat ipagmalaki ay naiintindihan, nauunawaan, kilala niya ang Diyos na nagpapatupad ng kabaitan. Pakisabi kabaitan? Kindness. Yan. Magaling ah. May sumusunod dito ah. Tama. Yung tama yan. Glory to God. Righteousness. Katuwiran. No? Justice. Uh, pagiging uh, pantay or uh, kustisya o paghuhukom. Yun ang ibig sabihin nun. Pag sinabi mong justice, uh, being just or, uh, or a, a, a God who, who exercises uh, judgment or punishment, yan, ganun yun, naunawaan po natin. So, sa oras na ito, alam na alam nating lahat na maraming namamatay ngayon no? sa iba't ibang sakit at uh, yung iba ay natatakot ng magpakonsulta kasi baka mahawaan ng COVID. Yung iba naman talaga ay hindi talaga makapagpakonsulta ng maayos kasi eh, maraming mga doktor at nurse ay mukhang doon na nakatutok sa mga COVID patients. Kukunti na lamang para sa mga non-COVID patients. At kung sakasakali mo ang uh, may mga magkakasakit at makukonfine, para ang hirap-hirap magpa-convey ngayon sa mga ospital sapagkat natatakot na mahawaan ng COVID. Yan ang panahon ngayon. This is the day that uh, people are dying in different kind of uh, accidents, calamities, disasters, sicknesses and diseases, and most especially COVID, coronavirus. And people are dying because uh, lack of uh, lack of uh, doctors, lack of nurses, lack of uh, rooms in, in the hospital. Y- yan yung mga kakulangan sa mga panahon ngayon. Idagdag mo pa, no? Ay ngayon, eh, online consultation. No? Even the doctors and nurses uh, are uh, having uh, precautionary measures, precautionary measures in treating the patients. They are wearing PPEs, no? Nakasuot sila ng mga PPE. At sa kabila ng nakasuot sila ng PPE, di ba? Ang dami pa rin nurse at mga doktor ang uh, nangamamatay, di ba? Despite that the, the nurses and doctors are wearing uh, PPE, the, many of them are still in... Uh, uh, many still are, are died because of coronavirus. So meron lang akong gustong uh, ikwento at pakinggan natin tong maigi. Ito po ay true story, no? At ito ay napakinggan ko. Uh, this uh, this uh, story is a true story. It happened to a man. A man who dress always formal and presentable in the eyes of people. Yan. Whenever this man goes out of his home, he always uh, wear presentable dress. Yan. Tuwing lalabas siya ng kanyang bahay, ang lalaking ito ay laging uh, presentable ang kanyang kasuotan. Ayaw na ayaw niyang lalabas siya ng hindi presentable from head to toe. 
This man see to it that he always uh, wear presentable dress whenever he goes out of his home. That's why this man is uh, respectable. Masyadong respetado ang lalaking ito sapagat ganun siyang nga siya manamit na siya ay presentable tuwing lalabas siya ng kanyang bahay. And aside from that, this man is a health conscious. Yan, health conscious siya. Talagang maingat siya sa kanyang mga pagkain, maingat siya sa kanyang mga uh, pamumuhay, sa kanyang katawan, maingat siya. Yan. He, oh, he, this man really uh, uh, taking care of his uh, body well. He is a health conscious man. And aside from that, this man is, uh, has so many plans and dreams for his life. Ganun yun. So nakita, nakita natin, naunawaan natin, narinig natin. Una, ang, 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 ang lalaking ito ay isang uh, uh, presentable kung manamit tuwing lalabas ng bahay, kaya naman kagalang-galang siya. This man always uh, wear a presentable dress whenever he goes out of his home. That's why this man is respectable. And secondly, this man is health conscious. Talagang yung kanyang sarili, iniingatan niya talaga. And uh, as I... Uh, as ay uh, as a, yung aking nalaman no as i understand uh, this man has no has no sicknesses and diseases wala siyang sakit despite that this man is uh, already old uh, more than senior citizen yan pag sinabi natin senior citizen that is 60 di ba and above so more than 60 no senior citizen this man is already senior citizen but despite that he is a senior citizen, he has no ailment in, in his body because he really uh, taking care of his body well. He is a, he is a health conscious and he, is, uh, uh, he has so many plans and dreams for, for his life. He has so many goals to fulfill and to accomplish. Pero ang lalaking ito, tinamaan ng COVID. Tinamaan ng COVID ang lalaking ito. You know, brethren, sometimes despite that we are health conscious, sometimes this, this, despite that we are presentable in the eyes of people, respectable in the eyes of people, uh, maybe we are rich uh, in the eyes of men, or we have no ailment in our body, pero itong COVID na ito, nakakatakot, sabi nga ng iba kasi, pag bigla kang tinamaan nito, wala itong sino-sino, wala itong pinipili. Whether you are young or, or poor, the, uh, rich and poor, young and adult, no, uh, men and or woman, walang pinipili itong COVID na ito. At maraming nagsasabi na ang COVID na ito ay hindi ito totoo, peke ito. Kaya naman yung iba ay mag-practice ng social distancing, ay don't wear, uh, do not wear uh, face shields and face masks, no. At uh, Yun ang problema because many are not believing that COVID uh, is uh, really uh, do exist. No? Sa tingin nila, ito'y hindi totoo. Kaya many are not uh, practicing social distancing, not wearing face mask and face shield. Ganun. Uh, yun yun. Ang iba naman ay nagsasabing totoo talaga ito. Kasi marami talagang uh, nangamamatay. No? Talagang uh, biglaan, kagaya nga ng lalaking ito. Ang lalaking ito ay walang sakit. Ang lalaking ito ay health conscious, ang lalaking ito ay respectable, ang in the eyes of men, ang lalaking ito ay maraming pangarap sa kanyang buhay pero biglang namatay tinamaan ng COVID. I'm not happy to what uh, did happen to this man because uh, to see people dying eh ano yun, it's uh, it's uh, it's really painful. It's really uh, cause us to be sad talagang kalungkutan talaga yun. Eh, lalo na kung nga isang tao ay mamamatay na hindi niya tinanggap si Christ bilang Lord God and Savior ng kanyang buhay. I pray na yung mga nangamamatay ay bago man lang sila namatay, tinanggap nila si Christ bilang Lord God and Savior ng kanilang buhay. You know, I am praying uh, daily that the Lord will uh, heal all those who are in uh, sicknesses and diseases. And uh, if, uh, if uh, death, uh, kung talagang sila yung mamamatay na, if death will happen to them, I am praying that before they die, they will accept Jesus Christ as their Lord God and Savior in order for them to receive eternal life in heaven. 
yun po yung panalangin ko na maligtas po o gumaling po lahat ng mga may sakit. At kung talagang minsan talaga, aminin natin na hindi na iwasan yung iba na mamatay na talaga, pati nga pagka old age na mamatay sila, ang hinihiling natin sa Panginoon, makatanggap nawa sila at maranasan nila ang buhay na wala hanggan kay Kristo Jesus. Naunawaan po ba natin? May nakakaunawa nga po, pumalakpak nga po ng malakas. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, ulitin ko ulit, no? this is just a short message. No? This man is a very respectable man. No, always uh, wear a presentable dress. Dress whenever he goes out of his home. He is a whole health conscious man. No ailment in his body. He has so many goals and plans and dreams for his life. And uh, according to many, especially to his friends and their relatives, uh, this man is a very generous man. Uh, always uh, willing to help those who are in need. Ganun yung lalaking ito. Pero nakalulungkot. Bigla pong namatay, tinamaan ng COVID. No? Dinala ng ospital, pero wala nang tumanggap na ospital kasi nga, ay puno na ang mga ospit- ospital. No? This man was brought to the hospital, but uh, to no avail, uh, no, no room for this man. Including uh, Claire de la Puente. Di ba? Alam na alam natin si Claire de la Puente, yung mga awit, di ba? Na dahil sa kawalan na ng room, yun ang kanyang kinamatay dinala siya sa isang emergency room ng isang uh, uh, hospital e eh kaso wala ng room doon dinala sa iba so wala na, patay na so ganun yung nangyayari kaya ito ngayon yung sinasabi ng isang mga awit eh, no? isang mga awit na kung umawit, birit na birit no? sabi niya, ano bang nangyayari sa ating bansa no? na ang sabi niya, parang pinabayaan na tayo ah. parang tayo-tayo na lang ah. parang matiramatibay na ito ah iyon ang na, 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 na what I, I, I have uh, uh, read bra, from uh, the news no what I have uh, uh, read from the news no that uh, that this uh, singer is saying that it seems that uh, we are left alone nag-iisa na lang inapabayaan na tayo no, we will we, we are uh, uh, forsaken no it seems that we are fighting all alone yan, ganoon. Para ang ibig niyang tungo yan eh, ay pananaw niya yun, no? Opinion niya yun. And everyone is entitled to, he, to, her, to his or her own opinion. It seems that she is saying that the government is not doing well uh, in fighting against this uh, coronavirus. Alam po ninyo, ako rin po ay nakarating po sa maraming bansa. Isang, isang nakita kong kakulangan sa ating bansa Marami kasi sa mga Pilipino, yung bang uh, hindi ka talaga sumusunod. At marami rin namang pinuno ng gobyerno na nagpapatupad ng batas pero hindi tuloy-tuloy. Yes, I've been in so many nations of the world and I've noticed that many Filipinos are uh, truly hard-headed, not uh, obedient to the law of the land. And uh, many government officials are not uh, consistently no, implementing the law. Yun ang problema. Yung bang hinigas kugon, magpapatupad ngayon, sa susunod, hindi na. Y- yun ang problema ng bayang Pilipinas talaga. So ngayon, listen very carefully. This man is a very uh, presentable man in the eyes of men. No? This man has no ailment in his body. This man is a, self, is a health conscious. No? For the many, especially his friends and relatives, he is a very generous man, willing to help uh, others in times of their needs. But despite of all these things, when the COVID-19 uh, 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 hit him, hit this man, this man died. Namatay po kaagad. So hindi po ako natutuwa, mga minamahal. No, lalong hindi ako natutuwa na kapag ang isang tao ay namatay, na hindi tinanggap si Christ bilang Lord God and Savior of their lives. People to die because of coronavirus is not, uh, you know, uh, nobody is happy about uh, that. And uh, people uh, dying without Jesus in their hearts, no, you know, it's uh, much, much painful. Not only in our part, on our part, but also in the part of God. Lalo na sa Panginoon, masakit talaga yun. Ngayon, ito yung maikling binsahi natin, put your full trust and security Uh, uh, to Jesus alone. Put your full trust and security to Jesus alone. And sabi rito ng Panginoon, 
let not the wise men boast of their uh, wisdom or the strong boast of their strength or the rich boast of their riches but let the one who boasts boast about this that they may have the understanding to know me that I am the Lord who exercises kindness ayun dapat kilala raw natin ng Panginoon na ang Diyos ay mabait number one the number one character of God according to 923 and 24 he is a kind God mabait po siya he is a kind God In the book in the book of 1 Timothy 2:1 to 5 in the book of 1 Timothy 2:1 to 5 it says I urge then first of all that petitions prayers intercession and thanksgiving be made for all people you know Tingnan ninyo 1 Timothy 1:5 to 5, I urge then first of all that petitions prayers intercession and thanksgiving be made for all people not just for the Filipino people not just your province mate classmate and batchmate no not just for church mate but for all people lahat daw dapat ay ipinapanalangin lahat daw dapat ay idinudulog sa Panginoon lahat daw dapat ay namamagitan no at nagpapasalamat para sa lahat ng tao yun daw yun so it means no god loves the peoples of the earth no no not the sins of the earth not the desires of, of the world of or, 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 or of the earth but he, God loves people. Mahal ng Panginoon ang mga tao. Sa so verse 2, For kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and, and holiness. Yan. For, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Ang sabi rito, pati raw sa mga pinuno, no? ng, ng mga bansa-bansa, lahat ng pinuno, dapat daw pinapanalangin natin sila para tayo mabuhay na na payapa, tahimik at lahat tayo makajos. No, may kabanalan, may katwiran. That we may live peaceful and quiet lives and in all godliness and holiness. Yun yun. Verse 3. This is good and pleases God our Savior who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. Ayun. Sabi rito, who wants all people to be saved and to, ca- and to come to a knowledge of the truth. Yan, that is, God is good. No? He is kind. He exercises kindness. Why? Because He wants people, all people to be saved. Gusto ng Panginoon, maligtas ka. Ikaw na nakikinig at nanunood. Ang mga mahal mo sa buhay, ang mga katrabaho mo, ang kanegosyo mo, ang batchmate mo, ang classmate mo. No? All peoples on earth, should be saved. All peoples on earth must be saved. This is the kindness of God. This is the goodness of God. This is uh, the mercy of God, the grace of God, and this is the love of God. Ayan. Kaya ang sabi ng Bibliya, Jeremiah 9.23, ang sabi ng ganoon, uh, uh, but, let, but let the one who boasts, boast about this, that they may have the understanding to know me that I am the Lord who exercises judgment. Ayun. So, ilista mo. Number one, ang Diyos ay mabait. Gusto niya ang, na ang lahat ng tao ay maligtas. 1 Timothy 2, 1 to 4. Yan. Pangalawa, makikita natin dito sa aklat ng, ng uh, 2 Peter chapter 3. Tingnan natin sa 2 Peter chapter 3. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9. Many are asking, why is it that the final judgment is not... Uh, Uh, is not yet happening why is it that the end of the world is not yet happening why is it that the rapture of the church is not yet happening but I want to tell you oh it's coming uh, at any moment we are getting nearer and nearer to the end of the world gusto kong sabihin sa inyo na malapit na talaga anong, anumang oras darating na si Kristo darating na ang huling uh, kawakasan ang paghuhukom ng Panginoon ang uh, paggagunaw ng daigdig na ito, ang pagtatapon ng Panginoon sa mga kaluluwang masasama at pupunta ng impyerno. Yan. Final judgment or the great white throne judgment. Sa 2 Peter 3.9, The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise as some understand the slowness. Instead, He is patient. Pakasabi, patient. With you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise as some understand His slowness. Instead, He is patient with you, 
not wanting anyone to perish, but come to repentance. Ayun. Yan. The reason na uh, uh, the Lord is uh, uh, is uh, postponing, no? Pinupospon ng Panginoon ang uh, rapture of the church. The Lord, the, the reason why the Lord, I believe that the reason why the Lord is postponing His uh, his uh, second coming, the rapture of the church, the end of the world, the final judgment, no, by by uh, pouring out his wrath, no, sending uh, uh, sinners to hell, you know, because the Bible says in Second Peter three nine, because uh, so the Bible declares he is patient, yeah, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone come to repentance. Nahid na nais ng Panginoon lahat magsisi, lahat magbalik loob sa Panginoon. Yan, yung mga nasa bisyo at kasalanan, nais ng Panginoon magsisi. Lahat ng mga ligaw at lihis ng landas, magsisi. Lahat yung mga nang divide nang aagaw ng tupa, magsisi. Those who are uh, 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 author of division, stealing flocks, no? stealing churches from the true men and women of God, slandering the true men and women of God establishing false religion, false church, no? Fulfilling their own uh, uh, evil desire. The Lord wants them to repent. Yan. Those who are living in sins and iniquities, mga nabubuhay sa bisot kasalanan, gusto ng Diyos maligtas. Those who are in the false religion, yan, maligtas. Yung mga nagpapatato, those who are uh, wants to have tattoo in their bodies, Those who are fond of uh, fond of fond of tarot card, uh, omen, horoscope, zodiac sign, mga ganyan at kung ano-anong mga challenge na hindi naman sa Panginoon. Ganoon 'yun, naunawaan po natin. So gusto ng Panginoon ay lahat magsisi. Paki-sabi lahat magsisi. Ayun, uh, 1 Timothy 2:1 to 4, ito yung kabaitan ng Panginoon. Lahat gusto niya magsisi. Lahat ayun niyang pumunta ng impierno. At na hindi pa, do, hindi pa dumarating yung second coming, yung end of the world, yung final judgment kasi gusto niya lahat magsisi. Ganun yun eh. Kaya kung may mga nakikinig at nanonood na backslider, nabubuhay sa bisyo at kasalanan, wala sa gitna ng kalaoban ng Panginoon, ligaw at lihis ang, ng landas, nasa maling reliyong sekta, denomination, hindi ko na ito papakahabahabain pa at hindi ito biro ang nais ng Panginoon magsisi ka ngayon. Dahil baaaring bukas ay huli na ang lahat. That uh, like this man, that, uh, that what I am saying a while ago, that man was a responsible man, respectable man. No, that man was a very generous man, a health conscious, no ailment in his body, despite that, that he is uh, he, he he is in a senior uh, citizen age. No, but when COVID hit him, he died. At hindi po ako masaya na siya namatay. At hindi po ako masaya, lalo na kung hindi niya tinanggap si Christ bilang Lord God and Savior ng kanyang buhay. No, I pray that, that before he died, and even uh, Claire de la Puente, Claire de la Puente and uh, others that be, before they died, I pray that they receive Jesus Christ as their Lord God and Savior. Yun yun. Naunawaan po ba natin? Naintindihan po ba natin? Yun. Pangalawa, ang sabi rito ng banal na kasulatan, yun nga, He exercise justice, no? Justice. Yan. Justice siya. Pag sinabi natin justice, yes, really, He is kind. But He is a God of justice. He punish those who are uh, uh, not obedient to Him. Opo, ang Diyos po ay mabait. Pero wag natin kalilimutan, may paghuhukom ang Diyos sa mga taong hindi sumusunod sa Kanya. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Kaya hindi nyo napapansin, maraming gustong gumraduate, hindi naman nakakagraduate. Maraming bukas, tayo ng ganito, hindi naman nakakapagpatuloy. Bakit? Because uh, uh, they are out of the will of God. Many wants to prosper, many wants to succeed, many wants to be promoted, and yet, it seems that uh, something is pulling, the, pulling them down. You know why? Because they are out of the will of God. No? Ang akala ng marami ay nagtagumpay na sa kanilang ginawa. May, may isang lalaki umakyat sa sa sa, sa rooftop. Pagdating niya ng rooftop, eh wala naman siyang nakita roon. No, merong isang bata. Hinuli niya yung bubbles. Pag hinuli niya ng bubbles eh pumutok yung bubbles. Wala na yung bubbles. Naunawaan po ba natin? Yan. Many are 
ara ara uh, you know what the, what they are doing uh, is in vain yan ganun yun naunawaan natin 2 Peter 2:7-9 2 Peter 2:7-9 basahin natin 2 Peter 2:7-9 And if he rescued Lot, a righteous man, take note. And if he rescued Lot, a righteous man, who was distressed by the depraved conduct of the lawless. Yan, 2 Peter 2:7 to 9. And if he rescued Lot, a righteous man, who was distressed by the depraved conduct of the lawless. Ayun yun eh. Alam nang Diyos, pag matawid ka eh. Pag matawid ka talaga, ililigtas ka niya, gagawa siya ng paraan. If you are righteous in the eyes of God, God will make a way to heal you, to save you, to deliver you, to protect you, to guide you, to make miracle where there seems to be no way. He will find a divine way in order for us to be to be saved. Ayan, to be healed, to be prospered, to be promoted. Tandaan mo yan ha, ganun ang Diyos, ilista mo yan. Kapag matagid ka, gagawa ang Diyos ng paraan para ikaw ay uh, iligtas, pagalingin, palayain, pagtagumpayin. Ganun yun. Even in times of, of, of this uh, uh, pandemic, maging sa gitna ng pandemic na ito. Verse 8, For that righteous man living among them, after day, living among them, day after day, was tormented in his righteous soul by the lawless deeds he saw and heard. For that righteous man living among them, day after day, was tormented in his righteous soul by the lawless, by the lawless deeds he saw and heard. If this is so, then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from trials and hold the unrighteous for punishment on the day of judgment. Ayun, basahin ko ulit ha. And if he rescued Lot, a righteous man who was distressed by the depraved conduct of the lawless, for that righteous man living among them, Day after day was tormented in his righteous soul by the lawless deeds he saw and heard. And if this is so, then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly. Pakasabi, rescue. Rescue. Alam na Diyos kung paano i-rescue. Alam na Diyos kung paano ililigtas. Yan. Ang mga nasa gitna ng mga problema pagsubok laban ng buhay. God knows how to rescue the godly from trials and hold the unrighteous of punishment on the day of judgment. Ayun. So, he, he, is kind, he is kind, but He is a God of justice. Yan. He will put accountable those who are unrighteous and be punished on the day of judgment. Ayun. Kaya tandaan mo yan, 2 Peter 2.7-9, niligtas niya si Lot. Pero yung Sodom at Gomorrah, sinunog niya yun, binura niya sa mapa. Truly, Lot was saved, but God removed from the map, from the map, M-A-P, Sodom and Gomorrah. God burned Sodom and Gomorrah because of full of depravity, full of uh, perversion, full of uh, lesbianism and homosexuality. Dahil sa kabaklaan at katomboyan, dahil sa kahalayan, dahil sa kanilang... Uh, uh, yung bang mali ay ginagawang tama. No? Ganun yun, perverting the truth. Yan, because of homosexuality, because of, because of epiminism, you know, lesbianism, homosexuality, because of lust. No? Anong ginawa ng Panginoon? Sinira niya, sinunog niya, binura niya sa mapa ang Sodom at Gomorrah. Yun, God is a, is a kind God. He wants people to be saved. All people to be saved. Lahat ng tao gustong iligtas ng Panginoon. Pero, kapag tinanggihan ng isang tao ang alok ng Panginoon, saan siya pupunta? Sa parusa. Sa pagbagsak, sa pagtumba, sa pagkawasak, at sa pagpunta ng impyerno. If people will reject the kindness of God, then He will be punished. He will be judged. He will experience the wrath of God. His soul, her soul, will be punished in hell, tormented in hell forever and ever. Ayun ang masaklap. Nakikinig pa ba tayo? Ayun. And, uh, at, at ituloy natin, sabing ganun, uh, sabi sa, uh, sa Jeremiah 9.23 to 24, Jeremiah 9.23 to 24, sa verse 24 tayo, But let the one who boasts, boasts about this, 
that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justness, justice, and the righteousness on earth. Pakasabi, righteousness on earth. Yun. God is a righteous God. Yan. Huwag kang mahihiyang pamalakpak, huwag kang mahihiyang tumalun at sumayaw, lumundag sa Panginoon. At huwag kang mahihiyang ulitin yung mga sinasabi ko. Pag sinabi ko yung word at inulit mo, napakaganda nun. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sabi ng Biblia, uh, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, just, justice, and the righteousness on earth. Righteousness. What does righteousness mean? It means uh, blameless, flawless, unpainted. It means uh, straight. Yun. Straight. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng righteousness. Holiness. Purity. Yun ang ibig sabihin nun. So, buksan natin sa aklat ng 1 Peter 2.24. Tingnan natin sa 1 Peter 2.24. Tingnan natin. 1 Peter 2.24. 1 Peter 2.24. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross. So, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. Ang galing, oh. Basahin natin na 1 Peter 2.24. He Himself, Jesus Himself, bore our sins in His body on the cross that we might die to sins and live for righteousness by His wounds you have been healed. Ang gusto kong diinan dito, that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. Huwag mong ipagmalaki na may tatoo ka. Huwag mong ipagmalaki na may jowa ka o walang jowa ka. O ikaw ay... Uh, may ex o nambreak o nabreak ka o may asawa ka, may anak ka, may apo ka huwag mong ipagmalaki na meron kang uh, business, may trabaho may car, may negosyo, maganda, guwapo hm. huwag mong uh, sabihin na may bago ka na namang uh, lover, huwag mong ipagmalaki na ikaw ay malakas, walang ailment, presentable ka respectable ka, generous ka huwag mong sabihin ikaw ay uh, as health conscious aray ko pag dumating sa iyo si COVID, pag dumating sa iyo ang kamatayan, at wala kang katwiran, wala kang kabanalan, hindi ka nagsisi sa mga bisyong at kasalanan, patay kang bata ka, patay kang matanda ka. Impyerno ang punta mo. Yes. You know, no matter how great you are, no matter how healthy you are, wealthy you are, no matter, no matter how you are, how... Uh, how you are respectable in the eyes of men. No? You know, if, kahit na may religion ka, binautismohan ka, bininyagang ka, hindi ka kumakain ng dugo. No. Kahit masipag kang mag-house to house, dinadala mo sa maling religion yung uh, mga tao. At imbis na pumunta sa mat- tama at matawid, malinis sa daan, dinadala mo sa dating daan. Ay, no matter how religious are you, devoted are you in your religion, warning ito sa lahat eh. Isipin mo ha, a very respectable man, presentable man, no health conscious, so many goals and plans, a generous man, uh, according to his friends and relatives, willing to, he- to help uh, a hand in times of their needs. Hmm. Health conscious, but when COVID hit this man, he died immediately. No hospital are accepting, accepting him because no 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 room, hospital room for the man. Isipin mo, na unawaan mo, respetado, malinis na tao, health conscious, walang sakit. Matulungin daw sa kapal, anong sa kay kaibigan niya at mga mahal sa buhay. Eh, tinamaan ng COVID. Bigla. Et, ito yung nakakatakot talaga eh. Practice social distancing. Wear mask, face shield. Always uh, sanitize uh, your, your hand, yourself. Oh. Put alcohol. Oh. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Kaya nga, magastos ang church natin ngayon eh. Kasi lagi tayong may alcohol, meron tayong disinfectant, meron tayong scanner. Oh, may mga face mask and face shield tayo. Yung wala, sinisikap nating bigyan. 
Oh. Yung meron, sinisigap natin magbayad. Eh, meron eh. May pambayad eh. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? So, ganun yun eh. Naunawaan mo, isipin mo ha, this is a true story. Ang sinasabi ko ito totoo. Amen. Respectable. Generous according to his friends and relatives. No, no ailment. Hmm. Health conscious. So many goals and plans. But something is lacking in this man. He is not yet a born again Christian. And I pray before he died, he received the Lord Jesus Christ in his heart. He repented all of his sins and iniquities so that uh, he will be saved by the bell. Alam mo yung mga namamatay na bago namatay ay humingi ng tawad sa Diyos? Ang tawag dyan, saved by the bell eh. Walang reward dyan, walang reward. Ay lingkod ng Diyos, tayo, ang dami nating sakripisyo. Oh. Ang dami nating sakripisyo. E eh, anong naka, naghihintay para sa atin? Eh, glory to God, we have rewards in heaven. Yeah. We, are, we, are, we that are still alive. Hmm. Kingdom of Jesus, born again Christian people of calling and people of destiny, apostolic people. When we die, we, we will go to heaven. When we die, we will go to heaven. And we will receive more rewards from the Lord. And while we are living here on earth, the Lord is blessing us and promoting us continually, making a divine way to bless and to, to, and to promote us. And most especially, ito, agar agar kayo sa akin, agar kayo sa akin dito, ha? Agar kayo sa akin dito. Maniniwala kayo sa akin dito. Yung mga nangamatay, na bago namatay, nagsisinang kasalanan, naligtas sila, tama? No. At tayo, buhay pa tayo, nakikipaglaban tayo, di ba, no? Ang dami nating sakripisyo. Nakikipaglaban tayo. Pero, pag namatay tayo, hindi lamang tayo ligtas, may reward tayo sa langit. Amen. At ito, ito ang hindi naranasan ng mga biglang namatay at tumanggap kay Kristo, bago namatay, tumanggap kay Kristo, pumasok ng langit, hindi nila naranasan ang sarap paglingkuran ang Diyos. Yun. Those who died, saved by the bell, never sacrificed in serving the Lord. They never experienced The great joy in serving the Lord. Hallelujah! Di ba ito nga ang sinasabi natin, mga kapatid, di ba? Napapagod. Pero hindi sumusuko, hindi umaatras. Amen! Napapagod. Nasasaktan. Napupuyat. Napapagod, napupuyat, nagasakripisyo, nasasaktan pero hindi sumusuko, hindi umaatras. Tuloy ang pananalangin, tuloy ang pag-aayuno, tuloy ang pagbibigay ng kaput handog, tuloy, tuloy ang pagbibigay ng first fruits, tuloy sa katwiran, tuloy sa kabanalan ng Panginoon, tuloy sa pagpupul time, tuloy sa Diyos! Ina naman ang amen natin, ina naman ang palakpak natin. Kaya sabihin mo sa, sabihin mo sa katabi mong naglilingkod sa Diyos, huwag mo nang kalabitin, sabihin mo sa kanya, napakapalad mo napakapalad mo. Truly, many died saved by the bell. Before they died, they received Jesus Christ as the Lord God and Savior. Presto, they received eternal life in heaven. But they never experienced to suffer for Christ's sake. They never experienced to pray and pass. They never experienced to evangelize. They never experienced to serve the Lord and give their best to Jesus. They have no rewards from in, in heaven. And not only that, They never experience the joy of serving. Hallelujah! Woo! Hallelujah! They never experience the joy of serving. Tama ba ako, mga kapatid? Di ba? Napapagod tayo, napuboy tayo, nakasikripisyo tayo, di ba? Di ba? Madalas, kulang tayo ng tulog. Dapat nga, matutulog ka na lang eh. Dadalo ka pa, mananalain ka pa, mag-aayuno ka pa, maghahanda ka pa ng minsahe, di ba? O, oh, magpupuyat ka pa. Dapat nga, matulog ka na lang eh, di ba? Dadalo ka pa, magbibigay ka pa na ikapuntando, gaawit, tutugtog, tasayaw ka pa sa Panginoon, di ba? Di ba? <laughs> Glory to God. Kaya kayo, na, in, na kayo, na ataras abante, urong sulong, na ang dami niyong sinisisi, no? 
eh, isa lang ang problema ninyo. Kulang kayo ng pagmamahal sa Diyos. If you are not giving your best to the Lord, something is lacking in you, your love for God. Yeah. Alam mo kasi ganito yan, mga kapatid eh. Tingin kayo sa akin, pakinggan ninyo ako. Yung iba, gaya-gaya lang naman eh. Eh, nakakabulis yung taong ito. Samahan natin sa uh, pag-awit, pagtugtog, pagsayaw, pag-i-evangelize. Nakakabulis yung taong ito. Samahan natin sa paglilingkod. At pag yung taong iyon, namatay o nawala, at hindi na nakakabulis yung buhay, atras na rin sila. Gets ninyo? Yes. Oh. They are living for a person, not for God. Pero pag ikaw, nabubuhay ka para sa Panginoon, kaya ayaw nilang umawit, tumugtog, sumayaw, ayaw nun nilang dumalo, kaya may sando ka, kaya wala, kaya ayaw nilang manundo, o hindi. Tuloy ka sa paglilingkod sa Panginoon kasi mahal mo ang Lord. Amen! 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 Amen. You know, brethren, to tell you frankly and honestly, I must be straightforward to you. I am a person. You know, many times, nobody knows what I, what I, what the do I, what I am experiencing. Maraming tao hindi nila alam yung laban ko. They do not know my battle. You know, they thought that I am a. Uh, a warrior. But you know, the warrior is a child. You know, b- before and after my great battle, I see myself kneeling down before God, thanking the Lord, and asking continually His strength. Naunawaan ba natin? Isa akong mandirigma na bago ang matinding labanan at pagkatapos ng labanan, laging nakaluhod sa Diyos at nagpapasalamat sa Diyos sa kabutihan niya at, at humihingi ng patuloy niyang kalakasan. Yun yun eh. We're glad we belong to the kingdom, a kingdom that cannot be shaken. We're glad we are the apostolic people. We're glad that we are fulfilling our highest calling and perfect destiny in Christ. We are in the center of the will of God. Nasa gitna tayo ng kalaoban ng Diyos. Sino ba naman ang taong hindi natatakot, kinakabahan, nag-aalala, nasasaktan? Sino ba naman ang taong hindi umiiyak, hindi napapagod? Sino ba naman ang taong ganun? Wala namang ganun eh. Hindi naman tayo manikin, hindi naman tayo robot. Hindi naman tayo mga 6 million dollar man or bayo man. Pero alam ninyo eh, sa kabila ng lahat, tuloy tayong naglilingkod sa Diyos kasi mahal natin ang Panginoon. Amen? At ang sarap maglingkod sa Diyos. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, ang sarap maglingkod sa Diyos. Sige, sabihin mo, lakasan mo, isigaw mo. Ayaan mo marinig ng mundo ang mundo. Yan na ba, yan na ba yung sigaw mo? <laughs> ang sarap maglingkod sa Diyos. Hallelujah! So, Jeremiah 9.23 to 24, this is what the Lord says. Let not the wise boast of their wisdom or the strong boast of their strength or the rich boast of their riches. But let the one who boasts boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in this I delight, declares the Lord. Ito ang sabi ng Panginoon sa lahat. Huwag ipagmalaki ng mga marurunong, magagaling, mga matatalino, mga iskolar ang kanilang karunungan. Huwag ipagmalaki ng mga may pinag-aralan ang kanilang karunungan. Huwag ipagmalaki ng mga malalakas, ng mga <laughs> nagjijim, mga may abs. <laughs> ng mga walang sakit, mga, mga generous kuno in the eyes of men. Mga, mga health conscious. Mga mga presentable in the eyes of men, respectable in the eyes of men. No? L- Let not the strong boast of their strength or the rich boast of their riches. O oh, marami ka nang na- na-accomplish sa buhay ni ito at marami ka pang i-accomplish. You, ac- you have accomplished so many things in this world and you want to accomplish more. You have so many goals, dreams, and plans. Many are... Uh, uh, have been fulfilled already 
and still you have so many plans, goals, and dreams. And maybe you are rich. But God said, boast not of them. Huwag mo sila ipagmalaki. Nakakalungkot, di ba? Sipi mo, tuwing lalabas ng bahay, presentable. O, walang sakit, health conscious. Hinahangaan ng mga tao. Lalo na, matulungin daw ito sa mga kaibigan, mga kamag-anak. Ito pa, lastly, this man, when he was hit by COVID-19, 2021 na ngayon, pero COVID-19 pa rin yun. When this man hit by COVID-19, no, he decided to go to hospital for a checkup. Nagdesisyon ang matandang ito na pumunta ng ospital senior citizen eh. Pero parang hindi siya senior citizen. At, at his, if you look at him in, in his outward appearance, you know, you will not uh, recognize that he is uh, a senior citizen already. More than senior citizen. I know that man. Though I, I don't have intimate relationship with him, I am not his friend, but I do, I, I do know this man. Kilala ko ang lalaking ito. Nung pupunta niya siya ng, ng ano, tinamaan siya ng COVID, no? Pupunta ng, ng ospital, magpapacheck up siya. When the COVID hit him, he decided to go to hospital. You know, he wants to clean himself first. Gusto niya munang maligo, maglinis muna. Gusto niya muna, kasi ayaw nga niya humaharap sa mga tao na marami siya eh. Gusto niya malinis, mabango siya. Before he wants to go to hospital for a checkup, he wants to clean himself. Presentable in the eyes of men. And aside from that, listen to me very carefully, gusto niyang suotin ang kanyang expensive watch. Yeah. yeah. Gusto niyang suotin ang, ang kanyang expensive watch. And I believe he has so many watches. Kagabi nga, hanap ako na hanap ng isang rilo ko. Kasi yung isang, isang rilo ko, binigay lang yun na isang kapatid from Saudi Arabia, automatic yun eh, hindi ko nasuot, nasira tuloy. So ipapaayos ko pa. Ngayon yung isang automatic ko, na ano, eh, hindi ko siya nakikita, hinahanap ko kagabi. Kaya habang natutulog ako, sinuot ko. Kasi automatic yun, baka masira. Mm -hmm. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Eh, meron pa akong isang bagong rilo ngayon, binigay lang din. Hindi naman ako nangihingi, ingatan ko raw. Kasi ang halaga daw noon, 30 mil hanggang 40 mil daw ang halaga noon. Sinurge ko nga, ginugal ko nga. Abay, ganun nga talaga ang halaga. Grabe, hindi naman ako nangihingi. Praise the Lord. Nakita niyo ba yung bago kong sasakyan? Hindi niyo ba nakita? Wala pa eh. Hindi, hindi pa na ibibigay. <laughs> ibibigay pa lang. <laughs> Kaya hindi niyo pa nakikita. <laughs> Pero darating yun, hintayin niya, maya maya lang yun, paparada yun, marami yun. <laughs> Woo! Glory to God. <laughs> so, you know, you know, this man, when the COVID-19 hit him, no, before he, 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 he wants to go to hospital for a checkup, he wants first to clean himself. And not only that, he wants to wear one of his expensive watches. And this is a true story. I'm not kidding. I'm not lying. I'm not inventing a story. And this is a true story. Isipin mo, susuotin pa niya muna yung kanyang bagong rilong mamahalin. I was shocked when I heard this. Ako, wala akong ganong kamahal na rilo. Nung nas, yung isang galing sa Saudi Arabia na automatic, eh, akala nila, mamahalin yun, Rolex. Sabi ko, this is not a Rolex. It looks like a Rolex, but this is not a Rolex. Maybe you are owning a Rolex. Uh, ano pa ba yung mga mamahaling uh, ano? gamit? Uh, Buluba, Omega, something like that. Or maybe you are owning a Louis Vuitton, a Chanel, diba? a Porsche, a Ferrari. You know, if you die, 
if you don't belong the, if you, if you are not yet belong to the kingdom of Jesus then you will go to hell dito na po ako magwawakas sa Mateo 6.33 magwawakas na po ako rito handa na tayo yung mga aawi tutugtog ha oo Mateo 6.33 basahin natin ito Mateo 6.33 dito na po ako magwawakas Ganda na pinag-aaralan natin, no? Yan. Kaya kung meron ka diyang mga mamahaling sasakyan, nakabalandra lang dyan, uy, sayang yung sasakyan mo. Ay, nako. You know, if, if you are not uh, using your life for God, if you are not using your education for God, any accomplishments here on earth, your money, your house, everything to God, if you are not using it uh, for God, alam mo, If you are staying in your home and you you should uh, serving the Lord and you have so many reasons not serving the Lord, oh, I tell you. Alam nyo kanina, nung tumunog yung alarm ko, dalawa nga ang alarm ko eh, para hindi ako, hindi ko mamiss eh. Alam mo, parang ayoko pa bumangon. Kasi late na ako natulog eh, nagbasa, nagpray pa, maga na ako natulog eh, tapos mag-aalarm eh, oh, pero kailangan mo nang bumangon eh, di ba? No? Kailangan mo na eh. Ganun talaga yun eh. Ayan. Matthew 6.33 Matthew 6.33 Before I close. But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Brethren, listen very carefully before I close. Healing is for us. Miracle is for us. Success, breakthrough, deliverance, prosperity. In the midst of pandemic, God will bless us abundantly. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Sa gitna ng pandemya, nandyan ang pagpapala ng Diyos. Matinding pagpapala. Gumagawa ang Diyos ng kaparaanan para tayo pagpalain. Glory to God. Ang kagalingan, ang himala, ang pagpapala, ang kasaganaan, ang buhay na wala hanggan, ang promosyon ay para sa atin. Isa lang ang hinihingi ng Diyos. Seek first His kingdom. Seek first His kingdom. Unahin mo ang kanyang kaharian. Be the kingdom of Jesus. Be, yes. Join the kingdom of Jesus. Make the kingdom of Jesus your priority. Serve Jesus. Make God your priority. Seek first His kingdom. Seek first His kingdom. Whose kingdom? The kingdom of Jesus. Not your kingdom, not anybody's kingdom, not the devil's kingdom, but the kingdom of Jesus. Basahin po ninyo. Hindi ko po gawa-gawa yan, hindi ko invento yan. Kingdom of Jesus is not invented by man. But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness and all your needs will be given to you as well. Kaya sa oras na ito, kahit di na kita ipag-pray, gagaling ka na. Kahit di na kita ipag-pray, ibibless, ipopromote ka na ng Diyos. Kung pinapasok mo ang aral na ito sa puso mo at uunahin mo ang kaharian ni Kristo Jesus. Seek for His kingdom and His righteousness. Being holy, being pure, being clean in the eyes of men, in the eyes of God most especially. Seek for His kingdom. Matthew 6.3 Memorize this verse. Encircle the verse. Guhitan mo yung mga verse na ito sa Bible and memorize this verse. Seek first His kingdom and His righteousness and all these things, all our needs will be given to us as well. Hindi wanag, no? Ay lingkod na nyo sa gitna na ito ng pandemya. May kagalingan ba ako? May himala ba ako? May protection ba ako? May gabay ba ako ng Panginoon? May pagpapaala ba ako? May promosyon ba ako? May pambayad ba ako? Lahat yan tutugunan ng Panginoon. All your needs All, your, all the miracle you need, all the healing that you need, all the good health that you need, all prosperity that you need, God will give it to you if you will seek first His kingdom and His righteousness. Maliwanag po ba? So, wag kang mamamatay na wala si Kristo sa puso mo. Don't die. Not yet. A part of the kingdom. Not yet in the kingdom. Don't die without Jesus in your, in your heart. 
Don't die if Jesus Christ is not yet the Lord God and Savior of your heart. Don't die if you are not yet repenting your sins and iniquities. Seek first His kingdom and His righteousness and all these things will be added will be added unto you. Tayong lahat ay tumayo. Ura raba kanda raba kanda. Yes, Lord. There is no might in my own riches, but I will boast in knowing you. Sing it again. There is no glory in my own wisdom. Oh. In my own strength, there is no might in my own riches, but I will boast in knowing you. Sing it again, there is no glory, there is no glory. In my own wisdom, there is no. In my own strength, there is no might in my own riches. But I will boast in knowing you. But I will. Bows in knowing you, for you are high and lifted up. The glory of the nations, you are high and lifted up. The Lord of all the earth, you are high and lifted up. Creator, Redeemer, and I will boast in knowing you, for you are high and lifted up. The glory of the nations, you are high and lifted up. The Lord of all the earth. You are high and lifted up, Creator, Redeemer, and I will boast in knowing You. Sa oras na ito, nakikiusap ako sa iyo, ginigiliw na kaibigan, na kapatid, batchmate, classmate, mga mahal sa buhay ka mag-anakan, kababayan. Hindi ka ililigtas ng kagandahang lalaki mo at kagandahang babae mo. You will not save by your prettiness, by being, hang, being handsome. You cannot save by your abs, by your beautiful figure, beautiful face. You cannot save by your title. You cannot save by your car, by your riches, by your might, by your wisdom, by your knowledge. Nobody can save you. No religion can save you. No good works can save you. Kung hindi ka maliligtas niyan, no religion can save you. Not eating blood can save you. Joining a religion can, cannot save you. Worshipping idols and graven, graven images can save you. Reciting a rosary cannot save you. Having a Louis Vuitton, Chanel, first Ferrari cannot save you. Having a Rolex cannot save you. Any accomplishments here in this present world cannot save you. Only Jesus save you. Jesus is man. Before he became man, he was God from the beginning. He died on the cross of the Calvary. He suffered from the hands of the sinners in order for us to be saved. Kaya sa oras na ito, nakikiusap ako sa iyo ha. 
magbalik loob ka na sa Panginoon, tanggalin na yung inis, galit, poon, sama ng loob, selos. Tanggalin na ang backsliding. Tanggalin na ang hindi pagbibigay na ikapot ng loob, ang pagiging rebelde. Yung akit panaog sa paglilingkod. Yung alam mong dapat naglilingkod ka, pero nakikipaglaban ka, nakikipagmalaki ka. Wala kang pusang loob. At gusto ko namang sabihin, sa patuloy na nagsasakripisyo. Tuloy tayo, mga kapatid. Hanggang sa huling hininga ito ng ating buhay. Hanggang sa kamatayan. Tuloy tayo rito. Yes. I just want to say to all that, 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 that are serving the Lord, truly there is joy in serving. Unexplainable joy. Alam mo kung akong tatanungin mo, gusto nga, gusto ko nga, Araw-araw naglilingkod ako sa Diyos eh matapos ako magbasa at magpray gusto ko araw-araw naglilingkod ako sa Diyos There is joy in serving the Lord There is happiness in in reading the Bible and obeying the word of the Lord There is happiness in praying for all of our needs and praying for the needs of others through joy You know True riches is by knowing the Lord and understand the Lord by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord God and Savior. Kaya pakisabihan mo ang nanay mo, tatay mo, kuya mo, asawa mo, kapatid mo, batchmate mo, classmate mo. Maglingkod tayo sa Panginoon. Huwag nating tingnan kung ano yung kayang ibigay ng tao o hindi. Kung ano yung kayang iganti ng tao o hindi. Ang tingnan natin yung buhay na wala hanggang na binibigay ng Lord at kayang iganti ng Panginoon sa atin. Kaya sa oras na ito, habang umaawit muli yung ating mga kapatid, suriin mo sarili mo as we worship once again, as our, as, as our worship leaders are worshiping once again, why don't you examine yourself? Why don't you to test and prove yourself? If there's anything, doings, mistakes, sins and iniquities, false worship and false religion, please repent and renounce it. We do not know if we will die na kung mamamatay na tayo. We do not know when our death will take place. Come on, shall we sing that song once again? Come on, everybody, as our worshipers are singing this song, everybody, check our hearts, check our motives, check our desires. What is your priority? Who is your priority? Sino ang prioridad mo sa buhay na ito? Ano ang prioridad mo sa buhay na ito? Pag nakatanggap ka ng pera, ano ang prioridad mo? Pagising mo ng umagbak sa mga pera mo, ano ang prioridad mo? What is your priority? Who is your priority? The Bible de- declares, seek first, be the, let, let this be your priority. His kingdom, the throne of God, the heaven, God Himself, and His righteousness. No problem with healing, with miracle, with success, blessing, and prosperity, and promotion. Walang problema sa pambayad. Kahit yung meral ko, bilhin na natin yan. Yung nawasa, bilhin na natin yan. Para hindi na tayo sisingilin. Bayaran na natin yung mga globe, mga smart na yan. Yung mga PLDT na yan, mga convergence na yan. Bilhin na natin lahat yan. Para hindi na tayo sisingilin. At habang inaabang sinusuri mo ang sarili mo, you will receive eternal life. God will change you and God will heal you this day. You are receiving healing and miracle. lifted up for you are high and lifted up the glory of the nations you are high and lifted up the Lord of all the earth you are high and lifted up creator redeemer and I will 
bows in knowing you for you are high and lifted up Taas po natin ang ating dalawang kamay patungo ng langit. Shall we lift our both hands to Jesus? Are you now ready to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, God, and Savior? Are you, are you now ready to make Jesus Christ your King, your Master? Are you now ready to become a part of the Kingdom of Jesus? To be a citizen of heaven? Do His will till the last breath of our lives. Sacrificing for Jesus experiencing the unexplainable joy as we serve the living God. Sige po. Ako po ay nagtatanong sa bawat isa, handa ka na ba talagang ibigay ng totohanan ang buhay mo sa Panginoon? Magbalik loob sa Diyos, gumawa ng tama, matuwid, mainam sa harapan ng Diyos, magpakalinis, magpakabanal, magpa- mag-ayos talaga, magtawid na ng landas, gawin na yung perfectong kalaoban ng Panginoon. Masarap maglingkod sa Diyos sa totoo lang. Mahirap manalangin mag-ayuno sa totoo lang. Mahirap talaga ang uh, magsakripisyo. But you know, there is joy in serving the Lord. There is eternal life in heaven. If you are now ready to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, God, and Savior, if you are now ready to become a kingdom of Jesus, a part of the kingdom, a citizen of heaven, If you are now ready to do the will of God till the last breath of your life. If you are now ready to finish the mandate, to fulfill the mandate. Ako determinado, disidido na ako riyan eh. Kaya sabi ko nga sa inyo palagi, kung sakali mang uh, pansamantala, walang service sa Metro Manila at sa Metro Manila bubbles. Pero sa mga chapter natin sa iba't ibang lugar, makapatiran sa ibang bansa, meron naman sila, limitado nga lang. Pero ang sinasabi ko nga sa marami, makipag-live streaming kayo. Kasi pag naiwan ka sa rapture, delikado. Pag namatay ka at napunta ka ng impyerno, delikado. Sipin mo yun, respetadong tao, respectable person, presentable, a, ge- a very generous in the eyes of his friends and relatives, a clean man, a health conscious, with expensive uh, watch, etc. Having millions of money. And yet all these things did not save him from COVID-19, from going to, from dying, from death. And I'm not happy, hindi po ako masaya. Kung nalaman ko lang kaagad yun, Tinawagan ko yun eh. Pinatanggap ko at pinagpray ko. Kung nalaman ko lang kaagad. You know, if I was uh, contacted immediately regarding the condition of that man, I will call that man. I will let him accept Jesus Christ as his Lord God and Savior. And I will pray for his healing. So taas po natin ang ating dalawang kamay patungo sa langit. Sabihin po natin ito, Lord Jesus. Lakasan po natin, Lord Jesus. Louder, Lord Jesus. You are now my God, my King, my Master, my Savior. Forgive me from all of my sins and iniquities. Forgive me for not making you number one in my life. Forgive me, not, not by living a righteous and a holy life. Forgive me, for you are not the priority of my life. Forgive me for not living according to thine will. Forgive me for not fulfilling, not faithful 
and not finishing my highest calling, the mandate, and my destiny that you have given unto me. Sa oras pong ito, in this very hour, I ask the cleansing power of Jesus Christ. Cleanse my mind, cleanse my heart, cleanse my lips, cleanse my nose, cleanse my ear, cleanse my eyes, cleanse my whole being, Lord. Linisin mo ako, Ama, mula ulong kang talampakan. Banalin mo ako, Ama, mula ulong kang talampakan. Mula sa aking balat hanggang kaloob so kaloob lobat. Simula sa oras na ito, sakupin mo po ako. Beginning this day, envelop me, encapsulate me with your presence and let your divine will be fulfilled in my life till the last breath of my life and till the rapture comes. Write my name in the book of life. Tulungan mo din po ako, Panginoon, na maging matapang, maging mainit, madala ko nawa sa iyo ang aking mga mahal sa buhay, ang aking mga kaibigan, ang aking mga classmates, ang aking mga batchmates, lahat ng tao sa Pilipinas. Help me, Lord. Give me courage and give me boldness to bring to you all the peoples of the earth, including my friends, classmates, batchmates, office mates, especially my loved ones in your kingdom sa iyong kaharian. Salamat po, Ama, ng marami. I receive also, also your healing. I receive also your miracle. Kaya sa oras na ito, lahat po ng mga nakikinig at nanonood, tanggapin na po ninyo ang agalingan, tanggapin na po ninyo ang himala, ang pagpapala, ang kasaganaan, ang buhay na walang hanggan, Tanggapin na po nating lahat, ang lahat ng dapat nating tanggapin. Receive now as we receive the eternal life, as we receive the deliverance, the salvation of God, the revival of God, the miracle of God. Receive it now. Receive it now. The healing of God. Receive it now. Blessing, success, and prosperity. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Hindi ko na po maisa-isa pa ang lahat ng ating mga pangangailangan. Receive it now in Jesus' name. And receive it now in Jesus' name. As we, Lord, praying for the salvation of the Filipino people and the nations of the world. As we are praying, Lord, for your divine protection for the frontliners, especially us, Lord, and our loved ones, O God, in Jesus' name, the Son of the Living God. As, pray, as we are praying, Lord, na ang gobyerno ito at ang gobyerno ng lahat ng, sa, ng, ng bansa, this government and all the governments of the nations of the world, Father God, You will help them, Lord, to become instruments, Lord, to help their constituents, to help, the, Lord, those, especially those who are poor and in need, O God, in Jesus' name, the Son of the Living God. Ura rabariri biyanda lalabakanda, pinapakawala namin sa Pilipinas, sa buong mundo, ang kaligtasan mo, ang kagalingan mo, ang bagong buhay mo, ang kapatawaran mo, Panginoon, Pinapakawala namin sa buong Pilipinas, sa buong mundo, Panginoon. Ang pag-iingat mo, Panginoong Diyos. Ura raba, kire raba, raraba, kara raba, riribi, yanda, lalakanda, rarakanda, robobokanda, lalabasyanda. Pinapakawala namin, Panginoon. We release your spirit, Lord. Your Holy Spirit over the Philippine Island and over the nations of the world. Let your salvation flow. Let your healing flow. Let your miracle flow. Let your divine protection flow in Jesus' name the Son of the Living God, as we rebuke this coronavirus and all variants of this coronavirus to die and go to hell in Jesus' name, the Son of the Living God. Visit every home, every house, every institution, every department, every agency. Visit, Lord, every hospital, O God, in Jesus' name, the Son of the Living God. Ura raba riribi yanda la laba rurubukundu, ririkanda la laraba kanda raraba kanda. Use our lives, use our social media accounts, hallelujah, to save and bless the nations of the world. Ura baba kanda raraba kanda. Panginoon, wala ka po nawang masumpungang nangihina at nang lalamig 
sa iyong ikalawang pagbabalik, may you find, Padre God, no one that is lukewarm in, and cold in serving you, God. May we be a blazing and a flaming in serving you, God, and living a holy and righteous life and fulfilling our divine mandate and divine calling as we fulfilling your highest calling and your perfect destiny in our lives. Salamat po, Ama, ng marami sa pangalan ni Kristo Jesus. Amen at Amen. So, purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoon. You receive healing. You receive... Kunin na yung mga ano natin, bread at saka yung juice natin. Uh, you receive healing. You receive miracle. You, you receive success, goodness, kindness of God. So, let me know. Alam ko, may magandang ginawa ang Panginoon sa iyo. Eh. Gusto kong malaman, no? Call or text me, 0917-152-1963, 0917-152-1963, and 0998-989-2963, 0998-989-2963, and 0917-152-1963. Uh, it, it is being plus on the screen. Now, for thank you for your prayer and fasting, love, care, concern, and support, and thank you also for your financial support. Anything that you are doing for me and my family and the Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship, thank you and do it continually. If you need counseling, prayers, whatever you need, if you need, if you if you have questions in your heart, no, so just contact, no, contact, PM, no, glory to God. So ngayon ay ano tayo? Uh, mag, uh, mag uh, partake tayo ng communion. Sige, yung mga nakikinig at nanonood, yung mga kapatiran natin sa Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship, so, pakiredy na yung mga inyong juice. Sige, bigyan na yung mga uh, katuli, yung nandito, puro ano lang ito, katuwang lang dito. No? Right now, here in the NCR, we are here in the NCR, National Capital Region, Metro Manila, we don't have service actually. This is just a live, a live streaming. Live, live ito. At ang mga kasama ko lang dito, uh, some leaders who are helping me uh, to, to sing, to, to play the instrument, to take the video, the camera, etc. to prepare this uh, juice and grape. Yan. Yan. Sige no, i-ready na po ninyo mga kapatid. Lahat tayo ha. Sama-sama tayo. Alam ninyo, uh, dapat gagawin natin kasi nung nakaraang Sunday, lockdown eh, di ba? So, ini, naisip ko dapat ngayon na natin gawin face to face. Eh kaso, lockdown na naman ngayon. At mamaya, mag a ang Pangulong Duterte, i-a-announce niya, hindi na lockdown. Tuloy na yung church at bubuksan na yung economy. I-a-announce na mamaya yun. <laughs> Agree with me. Eh kasi patay ang ekonomiya eh, pag hindi niyang binuksan. Ang magagawa na lang is practice social distancing. Wear face mask, wear face shield, no? Uh, citizens, Filipino citizens, obey the law of the land, obey the protocols, and uh, the law, those who are implementing the law, please implement it. Uh, talagang constantly, hindi yung ningas gugol. Yan. So, uh, ready na ba kayo? Yung mga nakikinig at nanonood yan, buong pamilya tayo, sabi ko, ha? Kung ayaw ninyo buong pamilya tayo, buong pamilya talaga tayo, sinabi ko na yan. <laughs> Sinabihan niyo ba yung mga pamilya ninyo? <laughs> wag, wag kayong papayag na yung mga pamilya niyo hindi ligtas. Huwag kayong papayag na yung mga pamilya ninyo hindi nakapaglilingkod sa Diyos, hindi papasok ng langit. Di ba? Totoo naman yung sinasabi ko, ang sarap maglingkod sa Diyos. Totoo lang. Mm. Mm. Ako, ma- madalas yan eh. Gusto ko nang matulog, hindi ako makatulog. Kasi nag-iisip ka, nagbabasa ka, nagpe-pray ka, nagpa-plano ka, ang dami-daming sumasaksak sa utak mo. Maraming nangangailangan ng mga tao, mga kaibigan mo, kamag-anak mo, classmate mo, batchmate mo. Kaya alay, alam ni Pastor Rael mayan eh. Pag uh, yung mga cellphone ko, di ba? Lahat ng group ko, pasok itong aral. Kahit sino pa sila. Eh, hindi naman nila ako binablock, hindi naman nila ako inaamprint, tuwan-tawa pa nga sila eh. Kasi I love them eh. Mm. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Mm. Kaya ganun yun. Kaya kayong mga nakikinig at nanonood, please let us know if you are watching and listening. And uh, send your financial support. Mm. 
if, if you have been blessed my life, by my life and by the kingdom of Jesus fellowship. So, pray, with, pray for us. Pray for me and my family in the kingdom of Jesus fellowship. And send your financial support. Ayan, ang ganda-ganda nito. Sa John chapter 6, puntahan natin ito. Sa John chapter 6. John 6.53 John 6.53 John 6.53 Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, unless you eat the plus... Ayan. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I am in him. Just as the living Father sent me and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. I tell you the truth, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, You have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Ay maliban daw kanin natin yung kanyang katawan, yung kanyang laman, at inumin natin ang kanyang dugo. Wala daw tayong buhay. Anong buhay na iyon? Meaningful life? vibrant life, colorful life, victorious life. We don't have victorious life. We don't have the eternal life. We don't have the resurrection life unless we eat the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Ano ibig sabihin niyo? Ito nga. Kailangan magpartake tayo sa Holy Communion, sa Last Supper, no? Sa Lord's Supper. And this is the symbol that we believe that Jesus Christ is Lord God and Savior. We believe that Jesus Christ died and suffered No, from the hands of sinners and paid the penalty of our sins. Naunawaan po ba natin? Yun yun. Kapag tayo ay nagpapartake ng Holy Communion, ang ibig sabihin nito, pinaniniwalaan natin si Kristo ang Diyos Panginoon na tagapagligtas. Pinaniniwalaan natin yung sakripisyong ginawa niya sa Cruz ng Kalbaryo, yung kamatayan niya sa Cruz ng Kalbaryo, ito yung nagbibigay sa atin ng matagumpay na buhay, masaganang buhay, pinagpalang buhay, buhay na wala hanggan. At pag namatay tayo, meron tayong resurrection life na tinatawag. John 11, 25 and 26, I am the life and the resurrection. Unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you, there's, you have no life in you. Walang buhay. Kaya pag nagpapartake tayo nito, yung healing, yung miracle, yung good health, yung divine protection nandoon sa atin. Pakinggan mo yan, ha? Pag nagpapartake tayo ng Holy Communion, yung divine healing, divine protection, divine guide, guidance ng Panginoon, natatamo natin. Gets natin. Kaya nga bago tayo magpartake nito, nagkaaroon muna tayo ng repentance eh. Nagsusuri muna tayo ng sarili. Before you partake this, repentance first comes. We examine ourselves, we test ourselves, we prove, we prove ourselves first. Ganun yun. Ilista mo ito, lalo na mga pastor at pastora. Kailangan mo itong malaman. Kasi walang buhay. At pinaliwanag ko, meaningful life, victorious life, uh, vibrant life, colorful life, eternal life, resurrection life. Wala nito. Wala nito. At bago tayo magpartake nito, kinakailangan muna may repentance. At kailan natin to ginagawa at kailangan at ka, hanggang kailan ba natin to ginagawa? Hanggang kailan natin tayo magte-take ng uh, Holy Communion or Lord Lord Supper, no? Hangga hanggang kailan tayo mag magte-take nito? Ito ang sabi sa 1 Corinthians 11 11. Yan, 11:26. 1 Corinthians 11:26. Write it down. 1 Corinthians 11:11:26. 11, For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Ayun. Hanggang kamatayan. Hanggang dumating si Kristo Jesus, magpapartake tayo ng Holy Communion or the Last Supper or the Lord's Supper. Last Supper, Lord's Supper, Holy Communion, one meaning. We will partake this 
till he comes. Till he comes. We are remembering his death. He died for us to give us holy life, eternal life, resurrection life, protected life, guided life. Hallelujah. Good health. Yun eh. Ang, ang ganda nito eh. Malibang kanin nyo at inimin nyo yan, wala kayong buhay. Kaya kita ninyo, buhay na buhay ako. Oh. Matamataas lang yung edad ko, pero bumabata ako, gumagwapo ng gumagwapo, hindi mo napapansin. Pumuputi lang yung buho ko, tumataas yung noo ko, pero gumagandang lalaki ako ng gumagandang lalaki, hindi mo napapansin. Yun ang sekreto. Yung iba, masaya lang pag may jowa, pag walang jowa, hindi na masaya. Nako! Oo. Oh. Oo. Oh. Eh tayo, masaya tayo kay may jowa, kay wala, kay may asawa, kay wala. Di ba? Akala kasi nang marami, pag nag-asawa, yun na ang kaligayahan. Pag nagkaanak, yun na ang kaligayahan. Dating mo ako ng asawa, Panginoon. Pag hindi nabigyan ng Panginoon ng asawa, eh, nagagalit, nagbabackslide. Bigyan mo ako ng pang-anak, Panginoon. Pag hindi nabigyan ng anak, nagbabackslide kung saan-saan nagpupunta. Ah, para maging may asawa at anak ang magbibigay sa kanya ng buhay at buhay na wala hanggang joyful life, glorious life. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Ako, masaya ako sa mga binigay sa akin ng Panginoon. Kahit sa inyo, masaya ako eh, sa totoo lang. Sobrang saya ko sa inyo na mga kasama akong naglilingkod sa Diyos. Pati kayo rin na naglilingkod sa Panginoon na kasama ko, kahit di tayo nakikita kita, ang saya-saya ko sa inyo. Pero gusto kong sabihin sa inyo lahat ng binigay sa akin ng Panginoon, kulang kayo. Kulang kayo. Alam niyo kung sino ang kapunuan? Si Kristo. Oo, kahit makatang- makatanggap ka palagi ng chocolate pag February, kulang yun sa totoo lang. Flower, kulang yun. O hindi ka man makatanggap, kasi walang pera. <laughs> Pero marami ka namang like eh. <laughs> Gets natin? <laughs> so, taas natin yung ating tinapay. Tinapay muna kakanin natin ha. Tinapay muna kakanin natin. Tapos Diyos, sama-sama tayo lahat ng mga nakikinig at nanonood. For I receive from the Lord what I also pass on to you. The Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed took bread and when when he had given thanks he broke it and said this is my body which is for you do this in remembrance of me. Kanin po natin ang punong-puno ng paggalang at ng pagrespeto at maniwala tayo as we partake this the life of Jesus will be will be given unto us in him was life and this life is the, will be the light of men we will be guided protected good health healing miracle success etc so take it eat it in Jesus name amen yes lord <laughs> he was bruised for our inning with His He bore our sorrows and by stripes we are healed Sing it again Thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness. Thank you, Lord, for making us new man and new woman in Christ. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving us, giving us eternal life. We will be included in the rapture of the church. Thank you for the healing and the miracle, protected life, guided life, good health. Thank you for your life, Lord. Ura babakanda, we receive your life. In you is life, and this is the light of men. Ura babakanda, lalaba, shiribianda. Our sorrows Taas po natin yung mga juice natin Asan yung mga juice ninyo? Kahit na ganito lang kaliit yan O malaki yan O isang baso yan <laughs> Hindi mahalaga yun eh Huwag lang alak ha Nakakalasing yun Huwag <laughs> yun at kung sakaling umiinom ka ng red wine, wag mo itodo, nakakalasing yun. 
Yung red wine lang na good for the heart to heart and good for the health, okay yun. Pero huwag mong iniinim yung red wine na napakarami ng volume ng alcohol. Umaari eh, talagang uh, red talaga. Hindi yung alak. 1 Corinthians 11, kanina yung binasa natin, 23, di ba? So, ituloy natin ng pagbasa. 23 and 24 yung kanina. 1 Corinthians 11, 23 and 24. Ngayon, 25 and 26. In the same way, after supper, he, he took the cup saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Inimin po natin, without the shedding of the blood, there's no remission of sins. The Israelites were protected against plague, against diseases, against sickness and death because the blood applied to the doorposts of their houses. Ang mga Israelita na saved sa Egypt, Walang, walang salot, walang sumpa, walang sakit, walang kamatayan dumapo sa kanila. Kasi naprotektahan sila. Yung dugo ng hayop, ipininta nila sa mga hamba nila. Ganun din naman. If we will apply the blood of Jesus in our lives, be covered, be protected by the blood of Jesus, including our loved ones, family, and, uh, and uh, all uh, that we possess, we will be protected by the by the blood of Christ. Then there's no my Jesus, my Jesus, God's precious sacrifice, God's precious it again. Sacrifice, sing it again for the very last time. That cleanses me It's your blood that gives me life. It's your blood that took my place in redeeming sacrifice. In redeeming sacrifice, washes me. Washes me whiter than the snow. Whiter than the snow. Whiter than the snow. Than the snow. My Jesus, God's precious sacrifice. For the very last time, washes clean instead of me. Washes clean. Nilinis binanal, washes clean, washes clean, whiter than the snow. Ito, offering, meron ka? Than the snow, than the snow, my Jesus, God's precious sacrifice. Bago tayo mag-Victorious Proclamation, mag-Victorious Proclamation tayo. Yung pinakanta natin, Joy Paul, kanina, uulitin natin yun. Tapos, mag- bago yun, mag-close in prayer tayo. No? Pero pakinggan natin si Pastor Raelma sa konting announcement ng mga sasabihin niya sa bilit. Hallelujah! Isa nga pong malakas na palakpak para sa ating yeah. Panginoong Yesus. Amen. Tunay nga pong dakila ang ginawa sa atin ng Panginoon ngayong araw at oras na to. Kaya nga, kaya po ngayon dadako po tayo sa ating pagbibigay. Ah, uh, makipagbukas po tayo sa ah uh, Sinabi po kanina to ni Apostol sa Mateo 6:33, "But seek first the kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given." to you as well. Ayun, sabi nga po, 'di ba, unahin natin ang kaharian ng Panginoon at lahat ng ating pangangailangan ay tutugunan at ibibigay sa atin ng Panginoon. At sabi po sa 2 Corinthians 
at magagawa ng Diyos na ibigay sa inyo ang higit pa sa inyong mga pangangailangan para sa lahat ng panahon ay maging sapat kayo sa lahat ng bagay at lagi ninyong matutulungan ang iba. So, pag inuna natin ang karya ng Panginoon, hindi tayo magkukulang. Tama po ba? Dahil alam ng Diyos ang ating pangangailangan. Sabi po kanina sa turo ni Apostol, masarap maglingkod sa Diyos. Amen? Amen. At masarap magbigay sa Diyos. Amen. Amen? Masarap po magbigay. Kapag binigay po natin ang para sa gawain ng Panginoon, sa kaharian ng Panginoon, hindi po tayo pagkukulangin ng Diyos. Yung ating mga pangangailangan, hindi po tayo magkukulang. Kaya wag po natin tanggihan ang mga pinabibigay ng Diyos. Dahil siya po ang magpapala sa atin. Kapag tinanggihan mo ang pagbibigay, ang pinabibigay sa atin ng Panginoon, yung pagpapala ibibigay niya sa iba na handang tumugon. Amen? Kaya wag na wag po tayong hindi tutugon sa pagbibigay. Alam po natin na ating kinakarap sa sa panahon na ngayon na pandemic. Pero, ang totoong anak nga ng Diyos, sa mga nakarang sinabi ko, hindi niya po tayo haya ang maapekto ngayon. At hindi niya tayo haya ang magkulang. Kahit walang trabaho, ang iba patuloy na ang Panginoon ay nagpapala sa atin. Kaya, kapatid, ang para sa Panginoon ay bigay natin para sa Panginoon. At bahala na ang Panginoon na Nasa atin ay mag-supply ng ating pangangailangan. Sabi nga, di ba, napapagod pero hindi, hindi susuko. Nasasaad pero hindi susuko sa pagbibigay. Masarap maglingkod sa Diyos at masarap magbigay sa Diyos. Ang kailangan mo lang mahalin ng higit ang Panginoon. Love God more and give more. Magbigay, magbig, mag, kapag ang Panginoon ay mahal natin, magbibigay tayo para sa Panginoon. Kasi yun na ay isa sa paraan ng pagbibigay, ng pagpapakita ng pagmamahal natin sa Panginoon. Kaya, magbigay tayo ng tithes, offering, pledge, um, kung ano man yung mga pinangako natin. Tuloy-tuloy lang po tayo sa pagbigay. Huwag po natin tignan ang ating mga pangailangan. Parati po natin tandaan Mat- Mat- Mateo 6.33 Seek first the kingdom of God. At huwag din po natin kakalimutan ng ating mga tagapagturo. Sa Galatia 6, 6, ang mga tinuturuan ng salita ng Diyos ay dapat magbahagi ng lahat ng magagandang bagay sa mga nagtuturo sa atin. Kaya huwag natin kalimutan na magbigay ng love it from uh, South Man and Woman of God na patuloy na hindi napapagod sa pananalangin para sa atin na maging patuloy na maging patatag at gumagabay sa ating spiritual. Amen? Kaya po, huwag po tayong magsawa. Parati po tayong tumingin sa Panginoon. At alam po natin na mga kaya niyang ibigay para sa atin. Kaya po sa lahat po ng mga nanonood, nakikinig, um, mag-message lang po kayo sa Kingdom of Jesus fanpage at tumawag po kayo or mag-text sa mga Numero makikita niyo sa screen at alam po namin na kayo ay masaya na magbibigay. Amen? Sige po, ipanalangin natin ang ating mga talo. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Maraming pong salamat, Panginoon muli sa isang pregleyo, Panginoon, na magbigay ng kapulunan at pasasalamat, Panginoon, sa paumagitan ng pagbibigay. Lord, Lord, alam namin na ikaw ang magpapala at tutubon sa aming mga pangangailangan sa kabila ng mundo ang nag- Nag, naghihirap na kailangan ng yung mga tunay na anak ay patuloy yung tinataas at pinagpapala ng Panginoon. At patuloy ang aming pagpapala ay umaapaw Panginoon upang makatugon sa pangailangan ng lugar ng yung mga gawa ng lugar. Patuloy Panginoon pagpalaing po ang aming mga negosyo, trabaho at lahat Panginoon na aspeto ng aming pinagpukunan ng Panginoon ng pinagpapala. Kaya po ang magdadala sa amin ng maraming customer Panginoon kayo po, Panginoon, ang tutugod sa lahat ng aming pangalaman. At kayo po ang mag-ingat sa amin sa araw. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Alam po namin na mga perang ito ay magagamit lamang upang makapag-glowal hati at maligtas ang maraming kalulong. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat ng namin.
pinabalik na lahat ang pakuli at pakasalaman. Sa tanging pangalan ni Jesus, Amen. Amen. At bago po tayo dumako sa pangwakas na panalangin, atin po muna ang iproklama ang katagumpayan ng araw na ito. Amen! Amen! Sa oras sa 
Thank you. 